Hey, 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 everyone. It's Mark Franken from Marked in Time, and welcome to another episode of Treasures Found in a Bag of Broken Watches. I uh, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I took about uh, three weeks off just to spend time with family. And um, I'm going to start this video with a little bit of an apology. My last video ended up being in portrait mode instead of landscape. And to be quite honest with you, it's only because I forgot to turn the auto rotate off on my camera because I don't think I've had that before. But anyways, for those who um, bear with me through the whole video and actually watched it in portrait mode, I thank you very much. Another thing, so three weeks ago, what came out of the uh, bag of broken watches was this little piece here. Uh, this is a Nevada. And, um, yeah, I, I, I knew this watch had quality when I wound it up. If you want, check out that video. You'll see when I wound the watch up, I said, wow, that winds up really nice. And to my surprise, um, even an, um, even a, one of my subscribers commented on it that these are on eBay for quite a bit of money. Uh, one similar to this, uh, was, uh, for going for about $800. Now I'm not saying this one is, uh, worth $800, but the Nevada name apparently has um, a bit of a dollar value to it, which uh, kind of surprises me. It doesn't look like it would be a watch that would be worth a lot, but uh, there you go. Um, apparently it is. So um, the other thing that uh, uh, some of my subscribers want to see was the uh, movement on the inside of it. So um, so I'm going to loosen. I loosened it up already, so I'll show you the movement. And um, I guess that would be an interest. I've seen it already, the movement, and it is a lovely movement. It's nothing too incredible. It is a wind-up. It's not an automatic. It is just a straight-up wind-up watch. Um, and there you go. Um, it has uh, some lovely detailing on the bridges. So right here, um, there's a textured detailing on the bridge here. Um, same as the balance complete. There's some nice detailing there. Uh, it doesn't, um, obviously, I mean, it doesn't have a clear back on it. I uh, don't know if that's because that was just the time that they didn't have uh, glass backs on it or where you can see the movement. E, um, it's a nice looking movement, though. I'm pretty impressed with it. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. For those who want to see it, that's it. That's the movement to it. It's pretty clean. I haven't touched the movement. I didn't do any um, uh, cleaning to it or any service to it. Uh, it's holding some pretty good time. So I'm trying to get this case back back on here. Um, I'll go and give that a tighten later. But, uh, but that's it. So that was the uh, treasure found in the bag of broken watches from three weeks ago. Uh, I believe that would be episode 16, so which makes this one is episode 17. Uh, let me just give it a, I just want to give it a little bit of a better tightening here. There we go. I do have a tool to give it a proper tightening, but that at least makes sure that it's on. Has the date complication. It's a lovely, a lovely watch. I really like this watch. But anyways, I put, it came with a black band, but the black band was broken. So I put this leather band on. The only thing I'm going to change is the, um, is this uh, the clasp here, or the buckle rather. Uh, the buckle's got this cheap um, gold electroplate that's wearing off, it looks kind of dingy. So I'm gonna put a nice, um, a nice stainless steel uh, buckle on it to match the case, and uh, that's it. But anyways, so that was the treasure found um, uh, in the last bag of watches. Uh, the other thing that a couple of subscribers want to know is what I wear on my wrist. Today, it's, I'm rocking the G-Shock. In fact, I've been wearing this thing a lot. Um, as I mentioned before, I uh, do live on a farm. And um, this is just my beater watch now. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, you know, out in the woods and all that. This thing hasn't let me down. It doesn't get scratched. It feels pretty comfortable. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. Uh, we did come up. Um, I do have another bag of broken watches that we can go through. And uh, this one is uh, from um, a subscriber that literally lives just down the street from me. Um, uh, Fred is his name. He's a hell of a nice guy. He's a good friend of mine. And um, I can't remember which value village he got this out of. But I'm really excited to see what's in this. And uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to put on my gloves. And i got size medium gloves this time. I ran out of the other ones. And I'm telling you, these are really, really tight. And let's see. 
Let's see what we find in this bag. Okay. So, here we go. I'm just going to move some stuff aside. I'm going to move the bag aside. I'm going to tear this open. $9.99 again for this bag of watches. That seems to be just the going rate for them. So, we're just going to move that off to the side. And the first thing I'm going to grab out of this is this thing here. Like, um, wow. Sorry, all the watches just started falling out of the bag here. So, well, this is a complete piece of junk. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't even, not even the band is usable on this. I have no idea about this. This is just, uh, well, you can tell that the dial feed is broken. Um, no crystal, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, no idea. I don't even know if you could use this as an art project. I don't know what this thing is. That is just absolutely terrifying. Uh, the, you can tell the way that's designed though. You can see that the outer ring moves. Yeah. Anyways, we'll put that aside. Use that as a boat anchor maybe. Um, wow, that's weird. This obviously must have had some kind of a case on the top of it or something because you got four, five plastic dowels sticking out of it. Okay, well, man, we're not off to a good start, that's for sure. Uh, then what we have here, an ECOS. We had something very similar to this last time as well. I have to admit, though, I do like the hands on these. I've seen a lot of these. It's kind of a cool design. I love the hands on these type of watches. Look at these. Um, these lug pins are just <laughs> literally about to pop off. Holy Moses. All right, there's that one. And then uh, TC. Nice crystal on that, I think. Actually, it gets terrible, admittedly. That's terrible. But I kind of like that concept. I've always been kind of an... I like the kind of the simplicity of it. I love, I love this red second hand though. That is definitely going to be going into the part spin. I love that red second hand in the crystal I'll keep. Uh, frame, not so much. Band, definitely no. That. And, um, wow, that's terrible. That is terrible. Is he in a clasp? Oh, it's a butterfly. A terrible butterfly. Oh my God, is that ever cheap? Look at that. Pressed metal. Oh my God. Okay. Ouch. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? USS Quartz. Jeepers, if I had a dime for every one of these snap bracelet pieces of, like, wow, that is bad. Okie dokie. There must have been a time when these kind of watches were um, fashionable because I don't see them anymore and they definitely don't look fashionable. Orvis. That's actually got a pretty decent strap on that. Feels like leather, although it doesn't say anywhere that it is or not. I'll keep the strap off of this. That I can definitely use for a project. The rest of this thing isn't going anywhere. I like how they kind of integrated, though, the color of the strap. 
with the uh, the hands, and the numbers and everything. They thought it through definitely from a design aspect of it. They thought this watch through pretty good, but wow, cheap, 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 cheap. Um, well, sort of a NATO strap. That could be used actually. Oh, that's just a looks like a brand new strap. Oh, that's got a specialty um, ends on them. I wonder if there's a watch in here that will have the ends for this. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, I'm starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> There's another one with the ends on it. Okay, and well, look at that. Okay, okay. There's something. There's got to be something in here that has all these watch ends on it. Okay, here we are. Another one of these click bracelet ones. That actually looks to be in pretty decent shape. Five dollars. Five dollars. Jensen, five dollars. Yep, I can believe it. Definitely can believe that would be five dollars. <sighs> okay, please, there's got to be something. Okay, Unic time. Unic time. It's an old digital, hey? Eh? Look at that. That is a vintage digital watch. Wow, they went as far as even putting the logo right on the strap. I honestly thought this was like an aftermarket kind of a strap, but the watch was definitely worn a lot, though. You could see the um, the fading on the uh, gold tone on the bracelet. That's actually, okay, in today's standards, it's not much to look at, but honestly... It's a pretty slick looking watch. In its time, I think that would have been a slick looking watch. Look at that separate battery uh, door just to open up to get the battery up. Unique time. I wonder what year this would be from. What year do you guys think this is from? Like, leave a um, comment. Uh, below as to what uh, what year you'd think that this watch would be from. I'm thinking maybe l uh, mid 80s, early 80s. That's what my guess is. Early 80s. I don't think it would be as far back as the 70s, but I would say mid 80s. Um, and the only giveaway for me for the 80s would be just having the uh, signing right on the uh, clasp here. I could be wrong, though, because I'm not 100% sure when they came out with this style of um, bracelet, but I'm thinking 80s. That's that's my guess, is the 80s. That's interesting. I, I, I'm i interested. I'm going to do some research on that one. Uh, wow. Ronald McDonald. That's a wind-up. And it looks like it's working a little bit. Wow. It's not a watch. It must have belonged to something or popped into something. Some kind of a housing, maybe? To hold that? That's weird. Oh, I already stopped. Oh, and started again. Ronald McDonald. Oh, that's not right. That's... Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, it's messed. The gearing is messed up in it. The keyless part is not right. Won't change time. I'm going to open that up and see what's in there. I wonder what kind of... Uh... I don't even know how you would... Oh, it pops in from the back there, but... Anyways, I'm going to have to look into that. That's an... I can tell by the way Ronald McDonald looks in this. This is an old... This, does that say Swiss made? 
It does say Swiss made. That's an old Ronald McDonald, though. She's running, which means that the balance wheel's working in it. There's nothing broken inside. The keyless is just probably jammed up with gunk. Waterproof, stainless steel back base, Swiss made. That's an interesting, interesting thing. wonder what movement's in it. Anyways, I'll have some information on this on my next video. So stay tuned. I'm going to put that aside. And what do we have here? Novell Quartz. That's garbaged. Yo, Jeepers. Yeah, that's not even... Uh, what is this? Oh, my God. That's an Alfred song. Whether it's real or not is anyone's guess. Believe it or not, um, Alfred sung way back in 90s. They were copied a lot. Like, there was a lot of knockoffs on Alfred sung watches. Um, very stylish fashion. Like, very, very stylish. Oh, there's a date. Um, Oh, there we go. Very stylish watches. And um, I have to admit, this doesn't this doesn't disappoint. This is very stylish as well. Although movement doesn't seem to line up well. West Germany movement. Oh, I am going to be interested in seeing what that is. 30 ATM. Stainless steel. Wow, somebody hacked the hell of it trying to get a battery into this thing. You can see that. Look at all the hack marks trying to get a battery into it. Alfred Sung. I am curious if this is not a knockoff or a real one. But, okay, I'm going to just, let, let's just pretend that this is real. It could very well be real. But... What a lovely, lovely watch. I like the balance between the gold and the stainless steel. This is purposeful. This isn't worn off. This is actually purposeful. The stuff on the top is a little bit worn. You can see that. That's that's actually wear marks. But it is actually a two-toned watch. And it reflects the dial, which is really nice. Like, that is an attractive, attractive watch. And as I said, Alfred Sung had some beautiful designs when it came to watches. Like, just beautiful. Like, even the detailing on the complication. Like, you can see in the light, you can see that even that is polished. So, it's not just that the dial ends with the date window just coming to an end. And then you see the date. There's actually some shine to the date window, like a, like an, um, a border around the date window that just to give that hint of, of, um, polished metal, like it, that is just gorgeous. And the type font on the date too is lovely, lovely type font on the date. I really like that small watch though. This would be a lady's watch. I would think. But I really like that watch. That is nice. That is really nice. That's a definite keeper. And we go from that to this. Oh, my God. Okay, where do I even start with that? Okay, what do we got here? Oh, my dear Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why would you? Oh, man. Look at that battery still. Oh, man. Come on. Why would you have a diver basil on it? Okay, well, it's broken anyways. Then it's not even worth looking at. What do we have here? Relic. I've heard of these before, this company. That's kind of cool. I like where they were going with this idea. I do like where they were going with this. A 
like the color, like a coffee color. I like that. I like the uh, jewels in there too, like the little... Oh, shoot, it's missing one. That always bothers me when it's missing one because it really takes away from the whole look. I like that. I really like that. Unfortunately, it's just missing that one piece. That sucks. I really like this watch. That is cool. I wonder if that will polish up nice. Anyways, we'll keep that off to the side. And what do we got here? This is a Loris. Loris is a good name. This is an ugly watch, but Loris is a good name. That is been loved like you wouldn't believe. Somebody has worn this for years. You can just see the... Wow. I bet in his day, though, that this was a nice watch. That is crazy. Boy, is that ever worn out. Okay. Uh, we're almost getting to the end here. There's just some... I don't know what the hell that is. That's not a watch, though. And... Oh, hey, 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 hey. We got something here. Lucerin. Oh, my gosh. That's a Lucerin. That's old. Guys, that is old. That's like a Lucerin mini pocket watch. It's not a pocket watch, though. That uh, hangs off your neck like a uh, necklace, I think. Lucerin. Uh, Lucerne is a uh, Swiss manufacturer. Um, when I started watch um, watch repair, I to practice. I bought a um, a box of broken watches off of a guy on um, eBay, and um, it was a full box of just smashed up old broken watches, and a, some of them were Lucerne watches. And um, I wouldn't be surprised that I actually know the movement inside this. And um, yeah, it, I tried to do some research on it. Lucerne apparently is still around today, but it's got some convoluted history. Lucerne is a place in Switzerland. It's a little town in Switzerland, and it's got some convoluted history. I'm not sure if the watch company Lucerne is the same one as it is from years ago and I'm having a hard time and this is going back I mean I should check to do research again on it but when I got this um I love the detailing in that that is beautiful um when I got uh these boxes and a lot of them were these broken looser and watches I really try to do a lot of research on them to see what the values are there's no value in this I'm not I'm not gonna lie I, these they, they were not valuable but I was always kind of just curious it's got some weird history to it though but that is lovely. It's a wind-up, of course. Wine's nice. I don't know if that keeps any time or not. There's no second hand, so it's hard to tell whether or not it's working. But that's an old company, and that's, that's a company with some heritage. That's for sure. I like this. I love the detailing behind the crystal. Like, that looks... It's actually in really good condition. That is in really good condition. I want to look forward to taking this apart, cleaning it, and servicing it. I am really going to look forward to that. I'm just hoping there's nothing broken inside. That's all my thing is. Because it's really hard to get parts for these. Anyways, that I'm going to definitely put aside. Put that beside the Ronald McDonald one because that just goes well together. Okay, what do we have here? Geneva, fashion brand. I don't know if you even got the barcode right on the um, <laughs> right on the case back. It's a nice design, though. I don't have anything against that, actually. Genuine leather. But there we go. There we go. That one. Oh, we just got some broken piece here. Let me guess. Caprice. There we go. Not too much to say about that. 
think every watch I every every bag I open has a Caprice watch in it. Milan is another one that I've uh, they actually do make some nice designs Milan but again just like Ecos and a lot of these fashion watches they have some great designs but the um the quality like the uh the materials everything else oh the band's on backwards on this one the quality the material everything is just absolutely atrocious but they have some cool designs I've always sat about that with um a couple of companies look at that oh no that's not that's weird. That's just a case. What the hell? Well, that's definitely not the case back to it. Oh, that's that for that white watch. Okay, well, there's not much to say about this one. <laughs> it's a case. I wonder where the rest of that watch went to. I don't know. That's just weird. Timex? It's an old Timex. I like that. Yeah, look at that. That's where you wind it. And then I wind it. That's. Is that a wind? No. That's not a wind. Does that say quartz on it? Oh, it's an indigo. That's definitely not a wind up watch. That's freaking hilarious. That's where you open it up. And that's how you adjust the time. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. And what do we have here? Well, that's a lovely little piece. Caravel by Bulova. That's an, um, a necklace type thing, a pendant or a necklace. That's really attractive. I like that. It's in pretty good shape too, actually. It's not worn, but then again, it would just hang off a necklace, right? So that one I'm going to get a chain for. Caravel by Bulova is a good name. Bulova itself is a great name. So that right here alone is a um oh, moves too nice. Is a uh, is a good watch. That is really interesting. I like that. I really like that. So that's it, folks. That's the end of it. The bag is empty. Um Oh, wait, 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 wait. I take that back. Sorry, 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 sorry. There's one more here. Uh, I don't think I saw. I showed you this one. That was fell out of the bag. Uh, Indiglo. Acura Indiglo. That's old. I don't think that works still. Does it? No. No, no. That's not bad. Nice clean look to it. Date window. I like that. There we go. So anyways, so there's the end of that. So staying true for 2024 for my watch giveaway this week, I have this Timex. This came, I believe, out of our last bag of watches and um, works beautifully. This is... Okay, so the difference is, if you don't recognize it, is, is I polished, I got the band on backwards, so I will correct that before I send it out. But I polished everything up. This was black before. The watch was black, and the buckle and the clasp, everything was black. But it was scuffed up and kind of looked a little beaten. Um, this is a Timex. Uh, lovely dial on it, and it's got like the, um, the stars kind of um, reflect. I really like the uh, the crown on this as well. It's got the nice detailing on the crown here. Yeah, I should bring it up a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I put a new battery in it, serviced by Marked in Time. It's uh, really in nice shape. I There's something simplistic about it. Like I said, I got the band on back, which is actually supposed to go the other way. But there's the buckle to the, um, the clasp to the end of it. It's got the horseshoe on it. And like I said, I took all the black paint off because it was falling off anyways. It's got some lovely detailing. I I really like this watch. And I um, think it's going to make somebody really happy. Um, somebody who might be into horses. It's kind of got that Texas feel to it. I don't... Um, it's a lady's watch as far as I know. I mean, I think it would be a lady's watch. It's got a nice slim design to it as well. It's got a new battery in it. And I think that's going to be a lovely watch for somebody. So... If you want that watch, um, you can just email me. I think I buried my card under all these watches, but there we go. So um, 
Yeah, you can just email me here at martintime69 at gmail.com. I have been sending a couple of watches out. Unfortunately, one watch came back because I messed up the postal code. So I got to send that out again. But um, but yeah, so just email me at this email address that you want this watch. And um, yeah, I'll mail it out to you. Anyways, I think I got a couple of winners for tonight. So I believe that that's a big one right there. And the Alfred Sutton. These are the two I got to decide on um, which one will be the um, treasure found in a bag of broken watches. Really like the Alfred Sung, but this has a lot of history. So I'm kind of leaning more toward the Lucerne than the Alfred Sung, but wow, that's a hard decision. Um, this is a beautiful watch, although very well worn out with a lot of scuffs on it. And this is a beautiful condition Lucerne, which is vintage. I'll get you some more information on the Lucerne on this, this watch in particular. Once I service it, I'll, uh, I will be able to date it and see what the movement is like. Um, but anyways, for that's it for this episode of uh, Treasures Found in a Bag of Broken Watches. I was your host, Mark Franken from Marked in Time. And have yourself an awesome night.